Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. In this session of Java programming language, we'll be discussing about another interesting topic of Java programming language that is method overloading. So friends, I hope few of you guys have come across this specific word that is used in Java that is method overloading. So what is method overloading friends? Specifically, the method overloading, overloading it only signifies that there is something overloading in the program as the general uh, gen, as a general meaning of this overloading specifies that there is something common which is continuously overloading in java the same principle is used method overloading in the sentence in one class there will be more than one method will be there of same name. Different parameter. Sorry, different parameter. So friends, as the definition I wrote down here, it says uh, it is saying that method overloading is nothing but we have multi <coughs> method loading it nothing defines that there, there will be allowance of multiple methods of same name in one class as in the sense friends if i create a class i can have multiple methods in the same class with same name but different para parameters unless and until the parameter is different we cannot call that program as method overloading if the parameters are same and the method name and method names are same java does not allow that level of coding per hand moreover the program will never execute so for more clarity friends, what is exactly this method overloading? How exactly it work and how exactly this different parameter work? So I hope the parameters you have come across in my previous session of Java constructors. So what exactly parameters, how do you initialize parameters? How do you make use of parameters? And how do you display parameters? And how do you execute the parameters? Method load overloading in the sense friends, you will have multiple methods of same name in the same class but different parameter this is the basic and small definition of method overloading so if you want to note down this definition request you to kindly pause the video if i am fast and please note down the definition that i wrote down here so friends i'll be taking down this thing and i will start with the coding part so i'll basically start my coding part with public class main followed by the syntax public static void main sorry void main followed by the string argument okay friends and in this sense so before i want to execute or write a code for method overloading so i have to create another class as i have clearly specified that there will be more than one method of same name but different parameter that you cannot execute the method overloading, overloading inside the main class so what i will do friends just create an another class for better understandability for friends I'll declare the name uh, name of this class as overloading overloading okay in this in this class what i will do friends i'll create a method public void bisp display assume I created a method in the name of display okay friends and secondly i'll create another method public void display now you can clearly see friends i've created two methods of same name public void display 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 here both the methods are that is written in the same name display and display obviously you guys have one thing in mind that will this program execute or not so what i will do friends i'll just come to the main program the main program here main class i'll create an object for this old class over loading and small object handler for instance i'll make use of x followed by the constructor that is constructor that is used to create an object and followed by overloading so friends now successfully created the object of the overloading 
as so now it's now i want to execute the program how shall execute that basically i'll make use of open handler x now as i was saying that in overloading friends you will have methods of same name but different parameters what i will do friends x of the isp so what i will do i will create a parameter for instance a okay and uh, for instance the isp uh, a and for what i will do i will add another parameter okay i'll end this thing now listen carefully friends x dot isp now you can clearly observe that there are two methods which are same type for in order to overcome this situation what i will do i'll create a variable here that is used to store the data character c so now what happened friends this x dot is which contains only one parameters this a will go and sit in this character c okay now what i will do friends system dot out dot print ln i'll try to print c okay friends now you can clearly observe here in this first method of this public void display i make use of character c that means this method public void display as capable of storing only one data type in this in this main method you can also clear that there is a object uh, created which, which, which stores only one data type so this disp can match with this method so i have directly transferred now now you can clearly see friends that there is another method name of x dot dsp with two parameters but in this in this method you can see i have declared only one parameter so what i will do there is another method which is available what i will do i'll create an another thing and uh, i'll create a two uh, two variable holders i will create difference as usually vector c and followed by int number reason i have declared int number because friends yeah, i'll store a in c and 10 in int num number I mean variable now i'll try to execute this let's see what happens friends say I'll copy this program then paste it and paste it i will add c followed by i'll give a space and i'll also add a space difference and followed by number so i can clearly see here friends in main program i have created an object that is over and uh, that is uh, belongs to overloading class in this overloading class there are two methods public void display which is, which is capable of holding which is uh, capable of holding one variable and another public void display which is capable of holding two variables so friends in this you can see here these two methods have same name correct public void display public void display same name but the parameters that is holding here is different this is called as method over reference the thing is you'll have the same name disp disp is showing here but a parameter different in the sense this method is capable of carrying one variable and this method is capable of carrying two variables if i created another method of same name with three parameters it will show acceptable as method overloading so this is called as method overloading, overloading friends in the sense in the sense that we'll have methods of same name but different parameter you can clearly observe here in this method there is disp capable of handling one character in this method there are two parameters now when i try to execute the friends let's see what happens i'm sorry friends there's a slight mistake showing here let me figure it out for you i'm sorry friends it looks like this compiler does not support the specific special character symbols so what i did i just made a slight change here friends in the before program i have declared as system dot auto printer and d plus followed by num in this program what what it depends i just i just make you the same two variables and i have printed trying to print it separately okay so as i was saying the regarding the overloading of methods of same name but multiple characters what happens in this first i have declared only in the first method of public word display make use of character variable a and it will display here in second variable in second display method i have make use of two variables a and 10 
So when I try to run the program, friends, it must display as A, A, and 10 because in the in this line A is displayed. A has been successfully displayed, which is this which belongs to this A. Okay, friends, and in this line another A has to be displayed, which is this one, this one. And in this line it should print as 10. So when I execute execute the program, friends, you can clearly observe here A, A, and 10. Okay, friends, this is called as method overloading. This is a small topic that is involved in Java program, but it is also a very important topic. I hope everyone should know about this. Okay, friends, and it's it's also one of the common question that will be asked in interview regularly. So I request you to kindly please make use of this method overloading and read well and try to remember this program if the interviewer asks you regarding the program sir this is a basic and simple example that you can proclaim it to the interviewer okay friends so this is called as method overloading so i hope you, you guys have come across what exactly is method overloading method overloading how do you display how do you write the methods of same name and how do you make use of different parameters and how do you make use of execution right? this is called as method overloading overloading so so friends in this session if you have any doubts regarding the method overloading request you to kindly ping down the doubts in the comment section and if you like this video request to kindly please like share and subscribe this video keep coding have fun friends have a nice day